Hello everyone, this is Neil Davis from Digital Cloud Training. A few weeks ago, I passed the AWS Certified Developer Associate exam. It was actually the second time I took it. I took the old version of the exam a few years ago now. And at that time, you really just needed to do the Solutions Architect course and then learn a little bit more, like you had to learn DynamoDB pricing and things like that. There were just a few extra pieces and then you could go and pass the Developer Associate exam quite easily. It was probably the easiest of the free associate exams at the time. That's definitely changed. So AWS have changed the exam blueprint and they've made sure that it's much more focused on developers and the skills that people need to be a developer on AWS, which is a really good thing, I think. Now, with that being said, my main job role is as a solutions architect, not as a developer. So I thought that maybe this would be a little bit more tricky. I had to learn a few of the tools which I hadn't used before. And yet I didn't found it very difficult. In fact, I found it easier than the Solutions Architect Associate exam. So for many of you, you may be new to development. You may already be experienced developers. People are coming in at lots of different levels. So I think that's okay, whatever level you're coming in at. I would recommend, however, that in most cases, you should do the Solutions Architect Associate exam first. And if you're completely new to AWS, maybe the cloud practitioner before that. And the reason is that will give you a great foundation of skills that you can then use and understand for the developer associate. Many courses don't teach you those skills in the developer course. Now, I've created a new course for the developer associate. In fact, it's being created at the moment. So it's due out in a couple of weeks time. And that really does start at the beginning. So I give you all the basics of EC2, elastic load balancing, auto scaling, all those topics that you'll normally find in the Solutions Architect exam. I go into great detail to make sure you've got everything you need. And then I go into the developer specific topics, such as the developer tools for CI, CD, and in great depth on DynamoDB and Lambda. So if you're considering the developer associate, I would definitely recommend you have a look at a blog article that I created where I give you a bit of detail, a bit of my experience from the exam, some tips on what you should learn, and some links to some free resources that I've created, some cheat sheets that will really help you if you're working towards that certification. So good luck if you're going to take the exam and hang about because I'm going to show you in the blog article now. Hi guys, so if you're planning on taking the developer associate exam, I recommend you hit up my website, come to the blog, and have a look at this blog article here. AWS Developer Associate Exam, My Experience, Feedback and Tips. So I took the exam for the second time a few weeks ago. I didn't find it too difficult. I think you don't have to be a developer to do this exam. You just need to understand some developer tools, the CI CD tools. You need to know DynamoDB in depth and also Lambda. And you need to be able to read a bit of code. So maybe some JSON, some YAML and some IAM permission statements, but you don't need to be able to program. So this just breaks down what I saw in the exam, what you can expect. If you're taking the exam at 65 questions long, 130 minutes, and you have to get 72%, so 720 points out of 1,000. And this just shows you what's from the exam guide. So basically the breakdown of the domains in which you're gonna be tested. So what is the exam made up of? Well, primarily Lambda and DynamoDB and API Gateway. These are the three big ones. So expect to see lots of questions on these. You really need to know these in a lot of detail. And this just gives you an idea of the kind of things that the exam is gonna test you on. Now I link to my cheat sheets in here and what will be coming soon is a bunch of free videos. We're already starting to release them as I create a course for the developer associate. So have a look down here. We've got API Gateway and then Cognito, quite a bit of coverage. S3, quite a bit of coverage and then IAM and Elastic Container Service, Elastic Beanstalk and so on. So all of these will show up on the exam, probably not as much as the other ones, but they're certainly there. And you certainly need to know the developer tools. So these are code commit and code build, code deploy, code pipeline and code star. Make sure you understand what all of those are, what their functions are, and you need to know the various types of files that are used, such as the appspec.yaml and the buildspec.yaml. So there's lots of information here. Definitely check out the cheat sheets. These are being worked on at the moment. I'm constantly updating them because I'm in the process of creating this course right now. So expect to see some changes coming to these every day. 
as I add more content. And this content is exam specific. So we have cheat sheets for different exams and they have different content because what you're getting tested on is slightly different. And this saves you from having to learn too much and finding that you're overwhelmed trying to learn everything, even though you're only gonna get tested on a subset of that information. So there's lots of information here to help you get started with your studies and to help you understand what it is you need to know for the exam. We will have a course coming out soon, both a video course and a practice test course for this exam. So keep an eye out for that. We'll be doing lots of notifications and I look forward to hearing from you soon.